Okay, these ones are not too bad as far as understanding goes. So, find the implied domain and range of sine to the now minus 1 of 2x minus 1. So, the easiest approach is an algebra approach. And what we know is a sine to the minus 1 in graph, if I drew my sine to the minus 1 graph, and it's always good practice to draw lots of them, just so you get used to them. Always, domains between minus 1 and 1, starts down here at minus pi on 2. If, you've, if you're not sure, just imagine you're drawing a sine graph on the y-axis, looks like that. And so this value here is pi on 2, and this one down here is minus pi on 2. Now, so what we know is that if you're doing sine to the minus 1, the bracket has to be between minus 1 and 1. So in other words, 2x minus 1 is um, greater than or equal to negative 1, and it's less than or equal to positive 1. So now just do the algebra, add uh, 1 to both sides, and you have 2x is greater than or equal to 0, and less than or equal to adding 1 to that makes 2. Divide by 2, and x is between 0 and... Uh, and x is between 0 and 1, halving both of them. So your domain, this is your domain, uh, I'll just put, so your domain is from 0 to 1, and your range, well your range hasn't changed from what the graph is, um, that, from what your graph that you've got there, so your range is from minus pi on 2 to pi on 2. Okay, the, um, the second one here is a little bit trickier. So you've got here y equals 3 cos to the minus 1 of 2 minus 2x. Um, so what we can say is the um, whatever you do for cos to the minus 1, cos to the minus 1, maybe I'll just, to explain that, maybe I'll draw my cos to the minus 1 graph first. Now this is your unshifted cos to the minus 1 graph. Okay, so remember it, it looks like this. So again, it's between minus 1 and 1, um, but this value is between here, that's pi, and so its range is between pi and 0. Now, if you multiply that by 3, well, you're dilating it by a factor of 3 from the x-axis, so the, um, the range, instead of being between 0 and pi, the range will become between 0 and 3 pi. Okay, so we can, we can do that part already. So maybe we'll just write that in there. So the range will be 0 to 3 pi. Now, what will the domain be? So remember, this was the graph I've drawn is the unshifted cos to the minus 1 graph. So what we know is, again, that for cos to the minus 1, it's got to be between negative 1 and 1. So just put your negative 1. Um, 2 minus 2x has to be greater than or equal to negative 1, and it has to be less than or equal to positive 1. Um, so what we're going to do is the algebra for it, so subtract 2 from both sides, and you'll get minus 3 is less than or equal to minus 2x, which is less than or equal to, we've subtracted 2, so minus 1. And now we'll divide by negative 2, but remember reverse the signs when you divide by negative. So that becomes negative 3 divided by negative 2 is 3 on 2. Uh, reverse the sign. Negative 1 divided by negative 2 is a half, and then write it the right way around. So your domain will be between always lowest to highest. So your domain will be between a half to 3 on 2. And just for neatness, I'll put the range back in there again. The range will be from 0 to 3 pi. Done.